This is the Qantas Runway Report coming to you from Birmingham where the T20 leg of the Ashes kicks off on Saturday night. Australia have fond memories of Edgbaston after winning Commonwealth Games gold at the ground last August. But this time they'll not only come up against a wounded England looking to get on the board in the Point Space series, they'll also be confronted by Birmingham's famously boisterous fans with a record-breaking crowd expected to fill Edgbaston. We certainly are under no illusions as to the importance of the next three games and, and the, the three games to follow that. So um, Saturday night should be a fantastic game. I think there's going to be a good crowd here. So everyone's sort of refocusing now to the T20s and, and certainly um, you know, they're as in, important as, as any game for us. The Aussies are sweating on the fitness of Elisa Healy after the Aussie captain revealed she played the test with two broken fingers. Grace Harris has joined the Aussie squad and the explosive batter is eager to take on the English bowlers. We can only really control what we can control, so yeah, we'll see what they come out with and then we'll, we'll try and better them. England have named a bumper 16 player squad for the three T20s. Izzy Wong returns to the fold and Danny Gibson is a chance to make her debut. Australia hold a 4-0 lead in the points based series after their 89 run test victory at Trent Bridge leaving England needing to win five of the remaining six white ball games to take back the Ashes trophy. Everyone's come back and, and is ready to get stuck into T20 format and um, it's the, the sort of format that, that brings its own energy and, and obviously playing in front of a massive crowd tomorrow, you don't need to get yourself up for it at all. Um, that'll take care of itself. Mm -hmm.